Welcome back to Think Like a Master Electrician, episode 13. Uh, you know, the usual YouTuber spiel, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Let's get into it. Determine the minimum trade size electrical metallic tubing required to enclose eight size number six American wire gauge copper conductors with THHW insulation were installed in a 60 foot conduit run. And let's go ahead and highlight some keywords here. We're looking for the minimum trade size. So what's the smallest conduit that's going to accommodate these wires? We know the conduit itself is going to be EMT. We have eight conductors, and they're all number six American wire gauge with THHW insulation. This 60-foot conduit run is just fluff and kind of extra information. Uh, You don't size your EMT based on the length of run. You based it on the volume. So uh, we'll do it the quick and easy way, and then I'll actually make a supplement video on how to do this the mathematical way. There's two different ways you can do it using either the Annex C or Chapter 9, Tables uh, 5 and Tables 4. So uh, if you don't know, in the back of the book, you should have a tab that's called Annex C, Conduit and Tubing Fill Tables. Now, the big important part with this table is I have it highlighted up there, four conductors are, and fixture wires of the same size. They're all of the same size. They're not dissimilar uh, sizes, so we can use this annex. Uh, if you look here, there's different breakdowns for different types of conduits and page numbers for quick and easy reference. We're actually going to be using the first uh, section there on this one, EMT. And so how this table works is you have your trade sizes across the top. These are the number of conductors you can fit in there. And then these are the conductor insulation types. We're looking for THHW, which it's here, but we're also looking for number six. So we're going to have to go down to the next section, which is here, number six. And we need to squeeze in eight of those boogers. Uh, We have number eight here. We follow up, inch and a quarter. Again, I'll make a supplement video on how to solve this using chapter 9, table 5, and table 4.